trading that bike in for the brand new CVO ST. It's it's the bike that I've been wanting. It's uh, it's a bike that I really mm, that's really for me. I sold the Rogue Glide. <laughs> I, yeah, I traded it in. Will you guys be seeing another Rogue Glide on the channel? Yes. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Beautiful morning out here in dirty Jersey. About to be New York. Um, high of 54 degrees right now. Going up to 60 today. So, thank you, Mother Nature, for giving us the sunny, beautiful weather in uh, mid-March. Crossing over the George Washington Bridge right now into New York. We're going to be heading up to Empire Harley-Davidson in New Rochelle. I'm um, going to be meeting up there with LD. You guys know LD. He has the uh, 2023 CVO Rogue Glide. And um, he's kind of contemplating on trading that bike in for the brand new CVO ST. And of course, I'm the good friend. I don't know if you want to call it that. I'm like the little devil on his shoulder telling him, do it do it but anyways i thought it would be appropriate to kind of have this conversation out because a ton of you guys have been asking me well you got the the new lowrider st did you sell the road glide some of you guys are saying no i hope you didn't sell the road glide i hope you uh have two bikes um i sold the road glide <laughs> I, yeah, I traded it in um yeah, uh, a lot of people didn't see me parting ways with that bike for a long time or even at all. No, God, please, no, no, no. I absolutely loved that bike. Um, did a lot of work on it. Made a lot of memories on it. Um, helped the channel out a great lot. But it was time, man. I mean, it, for those of you that have been we're watching the uh the content for the past few months I, I i was i kept sprinkling in or not sprinkling but i just kept bringing up the fact that i really missed my low rider s the one that i uh that i sold before and it just it just kept it was just kept bothering me man like i, I really missed a bike you know what it was with that bike i it, it was kind of like an unfinished project number one that kind of bothered me because i didn't get to do everything i wanted to do with it one two i absolutely loved that bike like there was nothing i didn't like about it at all um three it, it made the channel you know and any bike can make a channel yes and no but that bike literally made the channel that that bike kind of cemented who I am today on the YouTube platform or you could say in the motorcycle community it, it really did that much and you know I, I wanted that bike back um, but I, I wanted that bike back and then at the same time I was like well you know what? I can't do the same thing again the same exact thing so we need to take it up another level and obviously that's where the low rider st came into play the reason why i'm giving you this whole backstory before we start talking about the road glide it's it, it all it all makes sense um but yeah I, you know the next level would have been this bike right here um when harley davidson first launched this bike i uh was lucky enough to be on that press launch as well took the bike out fell in love with it i i wanted it um and yeah it, it's it's the bike that i've been wanting it's uh it's a bike that i really mm, that's really for me i'll say that I, I think that's that's the easiest way to put it this is the bike that's perfect for me there there's a bike that's perfect for every person out there and for me it's this bike right here um hence why i sold the road glide now i love the road glide um I love the way it looked. A lot of people like the way that bike looked, uh, the way it performed. Um, obviously, a touring bike where you could tour anywhere and do this and pack up your bags. I'm not the touring guy. 
I'm, I'm not taking the cross country trips. I'm not doing the long haul miles. I'm not riding all the way down to Daytona on that bike. I, I, I just, that's not me. Not to say, hey, I don't, I'm, I haven't taken long rides or I'm not going to because, it, well, ironically, this year I actually got some long rides planned <laughs> without the bagger. Yeah. Uh, but this is what this bike is for. But the reason why I'm saying that is, is because I, I didn't buy that bike to tour. I bought that bike because I wanted it. A lot of people who have road glides and street glides don't tour that much. They they just like the bike. They get in and that's it. And that's what I wanted. I, I wanted that bike. I really loved it and I wanted it just for me. I, did, I didn't get it with the uh, intentions of, hey, I'm going to be touring here and there. I, you could tour on any bike. Is it easier on a road glide and street glide? Of course. But you could basically tour on any bike. It's all up to you. Now, um, I had a bike for three years. Uh, I basically did almost everything I wanted to do with it. It still wasn't finished, but pretty much a performance build bike. That's, you know, the look I was going for. Um, I feel like we kind of accomplished that. Um, I'll be honest with you right now. The YouTube platform is also overly saturated with performing builds, right, like performing bagger builds right now. Anywhere you look, everyone's doing a performance bagger build. Literally. And I, I like to be a little different at times. I, I don't want to be doing everything that everybody else is doing. And ironically, I'm saying this riding a bike that's probably one of the most popular bikes out there on the platform. Uh, which is the Lowrider ST. This is Harley Davis is probably one of their most liked bikes, and you know, and a lot of people want this bike. And yes, a lot of people buy this bike, and they make projects with them. But I feel like the Rogue Glide right now is it's just everywhere you look, everyone has a performance bagger. And you know what? I I did it. I did it already. Okay, let, let's go on to the next thing, right? Um, Content wise, I, I wanted new content and I wanted to deliver something new. Obviously, we started a channel doing uh, motorcycle content. I didn't intend for the channel to go where it's at right now. Uh, but being that we're here now, I obviously need to produce content for you guys. Um, that's the reason why you keep watching me week after week. It's because I'm producing content with you. So I need to produce new content. Um, and I think right now, for me in my space, this is the perfect bike for me to create the content that I want to produce. Um, this is the type of bike that I feel like I'm going to be able to relate with more people on a broader span. Um, I feel like I'm going to be able to reach a bigger audience with this bike. Because let's be honest, not everybody could afford a bagger. But for the most part, the average person could afford a low rider s or a low rider st right so that kind of puts me in a place where i'm like hey you know like it's easier for me to reach out to these people or it's easier for me to try to influence new riders to hop on a soft tail right it's easier to influence someone to hop on a soft tail than a, a road glide or a street glide which is a bigger bike and it kind of intimidates people a bit because of its size uh not so much this bike um obviously lighter easier to ride packing a ton of power so yeah that's really where i'm at and when it came specifically down to this bike and the reason why i purchased this one exactly was i mean i i, I was sold on the paint job to be honest um i came really close to buying the el diablo that released last year i i literally i came really close to buy it um didn't happen uh then i really wanted a white sand pearl kind of sat on the back burner for a while and i'm like oh, i don't know i don't know i don't know um i'm happy i waited because this tobacco fade was or is in my opinion one of the best paint jobs that harley davidson has ever ever put on a bike it's it's beautiful and i think i i waited for the right bike and it's it, everything is falling into place like all the stars are aligning into place as cliche as that sounds um there's a lot of good things happening at the moment the bike being one of them um the ideas that i have flown right now i feel really hungry again 
to kind of create content for you guys really good quality content not just content just to put out content but really good quality stuff that i'm really passionate for um and i think we're gonna be doing that well i don't think i know we're gonna be doing that on this platform with this bike um and i'm just happy to bring you guys along for the journey a lot of you guys might be coming onto the channel now after seeing this bike you might be discovering this channel do some uh some little research look down and see where where i came from look at my older videos and see uh where we're at now and where we're going with this bike for all those of you who are new subscribers we are getting a ton of new subscribers lately after the we got the bike thank you for subscribing we got a lot of content coming um i traded the road glide for this bike i didn't sell it i was initially going to sell it i was going to put it on facebook marketplace i've had great luck selling my bikes uh the fxr that i posted up for sale sold in 12 hours the lowrider s sold within 24 hours i believe um and I, I i wanted to put that bike up for sale i was gonna put it at a fair price i was probably gonna ask maybe thirty-one thousand for it um but in all honesty like i really hate selling i hate posting shit. i hate having having to deal with people and even though i've had great luck selling stuff i just i just don't like it i i'd rather go the private route where i'm like hey i'm trading this bike in this is what i want this is what i want for the bike what can you do Let, let's work on something and and take it from there nice and easy i'm out i don't got to deal with anyone looking or or, or 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 just give me the run around like i hate that man this is like no if you're interested you're interested if you're not cool um so i ended up trading it in i i was kind of happy with the deal that i got for the road glide and it, it, it's so funny and ironically i had made a video a few months back where i said everybody's trading in their baggers for lowrider sts it's something like that i don't know what the title was um but i i didn't do that video intending or what a what a pun intending that hey i'm gonna be doing that because that, that really wasn't the plan i always really wanted to kind of have two bikes um with that being said yes i still want another road glide in the future obviously a new model um not right now maybe a year from now i'm gonna see what harley does in the next year or two and i would love to have a road glide as a secondary bike and see what we could you know come up with some ideas for that um but i didn't make that video to say you know to kind of give you guys a heads up hey yeah this is what i'm doing because i was actually going to make another video after that talking about how actually the road glides are the best selling bikes and everybody is buying road glides um upgraded to a road glide um I just started throwing that out there. But I'm happy with my choice. Um, I, I don't think I, I... I haven't felt this happy... I don't know, since... Maybe my Lowrider S. There was just a... A special connection I have with that bike. And it's the same, if not even... More of a bigger connection that I have with this bike now. Really happy. Um, and that, I, I think we should just leave it off there. Will you guys be seeing another Road Glide on the channel? Yes, a new model Road Glide. Hopefully within a year or two from now. We'll see how the channel does, obviously. We'll see where I'm at. And um, if you're new to my channel, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell button. That's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.